Hi students, I am continuing the chapter Applications of Integral and today's topic is Area between two curves and also I am discussing some problems related to this topic. So listen carefully. This is our first question. Find the area of the region bounded by the two parabolas y equal to x square and y square equal to x. Okay, so let's start the solution of this question. So we know that y equal to x square is a parabola, right? So where a parabola of general equation x square equal to 4ay this is like this and x next equation is uh, y square equal to x this is also a parabola uh, of general equation y square equal to 4ax and the graph of this parabola is like this okay so here we need to draw the uh, two parabolas uh, for this question so I'm going to draw this uh, parabola using this equation y equal to x square that means this is our y equal to x square and uh, x y square equal to x and this parabola is like this okay y square equal to x okay so we need to find the area of the region bounded by bounded by the two parabola parabolas so this is the region uh, region of area uh, that we have to find out okay uh, i hope you clear this question so this shaded regions area we need to find out so uh, i'm using a vertical strip vertical strip with the height y and length dx okay so next we need to find out the uh, this intersection point and also this point coordinate and this point so let us name it as C O O A C so if we take a vertical strip the limit depends only in x axis so we need to find out uh, so find out these two points uh, these three points coordinate and we know that origin has its coordinate as 0 0 and uh, so next we need to find out c and a coordinate so c is the point uh, uh, from which these two curve intersect right so uh, y equal to x square is our first curve and y square equal to x is our second curve right so i'm going to uh, from this y square equal to x y equal to root x right okay i'm going to substitute y equal to root x here so this equation become uh, root x equal to x square replacing this y by root x we get a root x equal to x square here and squaring on both sides here we get x root root x square is x equal to x square uh, square means x raised to 4 right so from this we get x equal to uh, x equal to x raised to 4 taking this x to rhs it will become x raised to 4 minus x equal to 0 from this x equal to common right so here taking uh, x outside from these two terms we get x equal to x x into uh, x cube minus 1 equal to 0 so from which we get x equal to 0 or x cube minus 1 equal to 0 or x cube equal to 1 x equal to 1 okay so i'm going to 
put the value of x if y equal to x square taking uh, one of the equation so if x equal to 0 y become 0 right if x equal to 1 y become 1 1 square that means 1 okay so this is the point we get a uh, this point C as 1 comma 1. At x equal to 1, y is equal to 1. The point is x comma y 1 comma 1. Okay. So, here also we get a point 0 0. This is our origin. But this is... Uh, this point uh, lies in first quadrant. So, the point 1 1 lies here. So, this is our point of uh, C coordinate. Okay. So, next from this we get our coordinate of A as 1 comma 0. At x axis y value is 0. So, uh, now we get our um, O A C coordinate. Okay. Next uh, uh, I am going to use this vertical strip here. So, area of O C O O C O O C O is equal to uh, integral A to B D A right. Next I am going to find this limit here. Limit uh, uh, if I take this uh, vertical strip limit uh, li depends only in x axis. So uh, if you observe our x axis coordinate here uh, y axis is remain same that is 0 0. But uh, x axis value changes from 0 to 1. So here from uh, we get our limit as x limit as 0 to 1. And here also dA is uh, y dx, right? 0 to 1 y dx. But here, our y depends only 2 curves. So, uh, we need to uh, take this y as upper curve minus lower curve value. So, y is equal to upper curve function minus upper curve function minus lower curve function. So, here upper curve is uh, y square equal to uh, x. Right. So, we need to uh, change this uh, y square equal to x function as uh, is a function of x. So, from this we get y square equal to x. I am going to change as y equal to root x. Right. So, this is a function of x. This become a function of x. So, upper curve changes to root x minus lower curve. Lower curve is this. So, this is uh, the equation of lower curve is y equal to x square is also a function of x. So, no, don't change, uh, don't need to change this uh, function. So, uh, the value is a function of x. So, we, uh, I am going to write this lower curve function as x square. So, upper curve minus lower curve is our y. So, I am going to replace this by root x minus x square and also write this dx. So, from this equal to uh, integral of root x. Root x means x raised to 1 by 2, right? So, we know that the standard integral of x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 dx, right? So, replacing this uh, n by 1 by 2, here we get x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay, minus. Next, uh, um, we need to find out the uh, integral of x square. Here also using the same uh, standard integral here. Uh, so, replacing this uh, n by 2. Here we get x raised to 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. And also write this limit 0 to 1. 
So this can be also written as x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus x cube by 3 0 to 1. So uh, this divided by 3 by 2 I am going to write uh, this in numerator form. So this will become 2 by 3 into x raised to 3 by 2 minus x cube by 3 0 to 1. So, this is equal to, I am going to apply the upper limit first. So, here upper limit is 1. So, replacing this uh, x by 1. So, here we get 2 by 3 into 1 raised to 3 by 2 minus 1 cube min by 3. 1 cube by 3. This is our upper limit minus lower limit. This x becomes 0 and this x, x also becomes 0. The whole term becomes 0 and this will further equal to 2 by 3 into 1 raised to 3 by 2 is also equal to 1 right so 2 by 3 minus 1 cube is also 1 1 by 3 so final answer will be 2 minus 1 the denominator is same so I am writing 3 here uh, and uh, just uh, subtracting the numerator we get 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 units are the area of this shader region okay i hope you understood this question this is our next question find the area lying above x axis and included between uh, the circle x square plus y square equal to 8x and inside of the parabola y square equal to 4x okay so the given uh, Let's start the solution of this question. The given two curves are first one is x square plus y square is equal to 8x. And second one is y square equal to 4x. And we know that uh, the second equation is a general equation of a parabola, right? y square equal to 4ax and this is like this. And first given curve is a equation of circle and we know that the general equation of a circle is x minus a all square plus y minus b all square is equal to c square where center is equal to a comma b and uh, radius is equal to c okay so uh, i hope you remember we had already learned in uh, plus one class circle chapter the general equation of a circle is x minus a all square plus y minus b all square equal to c square so the uh, given curve is like this so we need to uh, convert the it into uh, this form okay so uh, listen carefully x is so i am taking the uh, given curve x square plus y square equal to 8x so here uh, i am going to uh, take this uh, 8x uh, to lhs so it will become 8x uh, at x square minus 8x plus y square equal to 0 okay Next, I am going to convert this form into a square form. So, take uh, coefficient of take coefficient of x here. So, coefficient of x is minus 8 and half of coefficient of x is minus 8 by 2 that is minus 4 and square the term that is minus 4 all square okay and just add and subtract this square term into our question so this will become x square minus 8x add adding and subtracting the square term so this will become minus 4 all square minus uh, minus 4 all square and don't forget to write this y square here. Okay. And it is changes to x square minus 8x plus 16 minus 16 
plus y square equal to zero, right? And these two term, taking this uh, uh, square root of these two term, this will become x minus four whole square. I write a square. Okay, so square root of these two term, uh, square root of these two term, x square square root is x and minus 4 square square root is minus 4 and also write a square all square so if we expand x minus 4 all square we get this value okay and here the remaining terms remains the same and i'm going to uh, write this minus 16 to lhs so it will become plus 16 okay so this is like uh, the uh, the general form of uh, circle equation right x minus a all square plus y minus b all square equal to c square from this we get our center as here a is our center is a comma c so replacing this a by 4 and here b is 0 right 4 comma 0 is our center and radius this 16 can also be written as 4 square so we get our radius as uh, 4 okay so uh, our circle having a center 4 comma 0 and radius 4 next i am going to draw uh, using this uh, center and radius value i'm going to draw the uh, circle and the parabola i'm going to draw uh, the para uh, sorry circle first center uh, we get center as 4 comma 0 so radius 4 unit so this is our circle circle with the center 4 comma 0 and next i am going to draw the uh, parabola parabola Okay, this is our parabola. So, the circle equation is uh, x square plus y square equal to 8x. Or this can be also written as uh, x minus 4 all square uh, plus y square equal to 16. Okay, and parabola has the uh, equation of y square equal to 4x. Okay, so um, our question, we need to find out the area lying above the x-axis. So, we need to find only above the x-axis uh, means first quadrant area and uh, lying above the area lying above x-axis and include between the circle, circle is this and uh, inside the parabola. So, we need to find out, find out the area of this region okay uh, i hope you clear next so uh, i'm going to find out this intersection point and i'm going to uh, name it as this point as o this point is a and this intersection point i'm going to divide it into two half that means uh, this point is P. So, and again this point is uh, B. Okay. So, the whole shaded region that is area of O, P, B, A, O. O, P, B, A, O is equal to area of this region. O, P, B, O. O, P, B, O. P A O O P A O plus area of P B A P area of P B A P P B A P okay clear so next 
we need to find out the area of o p a o and next we need to find out the area of this p b a p and adding these two area we get our whole area of this shaded region so first of all we need to find out the coordinate of these all point here we get our origin as o 0 0 and uh, given that this point is 4 0 and given that op that means radius is 4 and pb is also radius right so uh, adding 4 uh, to this 4 we get our uh, point the coordinate of b as 8,0 and uh, we need only to calculate this uh, point a this point a is the intersection of uh, these two curve so Uh, our two equation is x square plus y square equal to eight x and y square equal to four x. Right. So I'm going to uh, replace this y square by four x. So we get x square plus four x equal to eight x. From this eight uh, uh, x square plus four x, take this eight x to LHS we get minus eight x here equal to zero and x square minus four x equal to zero. Finally, we get our um, equation as x square minus four x equal to zero. Four x minus eight x leads to four x. Okay. So taking x uh, from these two term here we get x minus x into x minus four equal to zero from this x equal to zero or x minus four equal to zero we get x equal to zero or x minus four equal to zero or x equal to plus four okay so if y square equal to four as taking this equation. Uh, if x equal to zero, we get y equal to also zero, right? And if x equal to four, y square equal to four into four, that means sixteen. From this, y equal to root sixteen, we get plus or minus four. Okay, so we need only first quadrant value. So taking only positive value of, we get y equal to four. Okay. So this is the point of intersection. We get four comma four. The coordinate of A is four comma four. So from now we get our all points coordinate. Next, I'm going to calculate the area of OPAO. So area of OPAO is equal to. So here taking A vertical strip with the uh, height uh, y and length dx, so it will become integral a to b dA, or it can be written as integral a to b y dx. Right. If we taking uh, the vertical strip, the limit depends only x axis. Right. So considering uh, these two points, because Uh, this is our region O P A O. So x-axis have these two point O and P. So if you observe these two point, the x-axis changes from zero to four. Y-axis remains same zero. Okay. So we get our limit as zero uh, to four, and uh, our curve equation is y square equal to four x. We need to uh, change. Uh, our y as a function of x, so y square equal to four x. I am going to change this y equal to root of four x or equal to two root x, right? So it become a function of x now. So I am going to uh, replace this y as two root x dx. So from this we get two is a constant. Taking outside the integral, we get integral zero to four root x dx. So by using the standard uh, integral of x raised to n dx, it uh, the value of uh, integral x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus one divided by n plus one, right? So replacing this n by one by two, we get x raised to one by two plus one divided by one by two plus one here. 
and don't forget to write this uh, 0 to 4 or it can be written as x raised to 3 by 2 into uh, 2 by 3 the denominator 3 by 2 uh, and it goes to the numerator it will become 3 by sorry 2 by 3 right and uh, our limit as 0 to 4. So, applying upper limit as 4. Replacing this x by 4. Here we get 4 raised to 3 by 2 minus. Lower limit is 0. And don't forget to write this 2 by 3. I am taking outside. After that I am uh, applying this limit. So, upper limit is 4. Replacing this x by 4. Here we get 4 raised to 3 by 2. Minus lower limit is 0. The whole term will become 0. Okay. And this is equal to 2 by 3 into 4 raised to 3 by 2. So 4 raised to 3 by 2 can also be written as 4 raised to 1 by 2 whole cube. Okay. By using law of exponent x raised to m whole raised to n can also be written as x raised to m and right. So, uh, using this uh, law of exponent, this 4 raised to 3 by 2 can also be written as 4 raised to 1 by 2 whole cube. And 4 raised to 1 by 2 means root 4. Root 4 value is 2 and the remaining term is root cube, 2 cube, right. So, 2 cube is 8. So, uh, 4 raised to 3 by 2 can also be written as 8. So, finally, we get our value uh, as uh, 16 by 3 and here also uh, write this 2 so don't forget to write this 2 here ok so into 2 so 16 by 3 into 2 that is equal to 32 by 3 is the area of this small portion O P A O. Clear? So, uh, next we need to find out area of this portion that is P B A P. So, area of P B A P is equal to here also I am taking a vertical strip here and with the y, y as a height and the length as dx and it uh, can be written as integral a to b dA or integral a to b y dx. So let us consider the limit uh, here uh, the x axis points are p to b right. So here the point p has a limit, has a coordinate as 4 comma 0 and P's coordinate is 8 comma 0. From this it is clear that the limit uh, X uh, uh, axis changes from 4 to 8. So from now we get our limit as 4 to 8. Okay. And here Y axis, uh, this the curve is X square, sorry, X minus 4 all square plus Y square equal to 16, right? So, from this we uh, need to calculate uh, y as a function of x using this function. So, uh, x minus 4 all square plus y square equal to 16. Uh, y square is equal to taking this x minus 4 all square to r just it will become 16 minus x minus 4 all square ok and y is equal to root of 16 minus x minus 4 all square this 16 can also be written as in the square form that is 4 square minus x minus 4 all square so uh, our curve is uh, this portion of curve is the portion of circle so uh, I am converting this circle as a function of circle's equation as a function of x as root of 4 square minus x minus 4 all square dx. Okay. So 
here I am going to put x minus 4 equal to t. So differentiating on both sides x become dx. The derivative of x become dx. Derivative of 4. 4 is a constant and we know that the derivative of constant is 0 equal to derivative of t is dt. So again okay. And also, I am going to change this integral. If x equal to 4, that is our lower limit, uh, t equal to x minus 4, replacing this x by 4, it will become 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Okay. And next, I am going to take this upper limit. If x equal to 8, t become 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So, I am changing or transforming whole x variable to t variable. Our integral changes to 0 to 4. Don't forget to write this integral limit as 0 to 4 and don't write this limit. If we transform whole x variable to into t variable, the limit can also change. Okay. So, uh, the limit changes to 0 to 4 uh, root of 4 square minus t square changing replacing this x minus 4 by t and also write this dx changes to dt ok clear and we know that the standard integral of integral root of a square minus t square d x square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse sin inverse x by x by a right sin inverse x by a so using this formula I am going to uh, expand this integral as here x var here variable is t so t by 2 into root of 4 square minus t square plus here a is 4 so a square means 4 square 4 square by 2 into sine inverse t by replacing this a by 4 and don't forget to write this uh, limit 0 to 4 okay so applying this uh, upper limit uh, replacing this uh, uh, t by 4 it will become 4 by 2 into root of 4 square minus 4 square plus 4 square by 2 into sine inverse 4 by 4 okay minus next uh, I am going to apply this uh, lower limit 0. Replacing this uh, t by 0. Uh, so, uh, if I if I replace this uh, t by 0, the whole term will become 0. And here also sine inverse 0 is 0. So, lower limit value is 0. Okay. And uh, if you observe this term, 4 square minus 4 square is 0. The whole term also becomes 0. Plus... 4 square minus 2, 4 square by 2, that is 16 by 2 is 8. 8, sine inverse 4 by 4 is 1, right. Sine inverse 1 is pi by 2. Okay, so here we get, cancel this 2 and 8, it will become 4 pi, right. So 4 pi units are the area of, this region that is area of P, B, A, P. Okay. The area of a whole this shaded region is equal to area of this region plus area of this region. Right. That means area of O, P, A, O plus area of P, B, A, P. And we get our area of O, P, A, O is 32 by 3 and area of p b a p is 4 pi okay so uh, i'm going to cross multiply this here we get 32 plus 
12 pi divided by 3. So, taking 4 uh, outside from this numerator, here become 4, 4 into 8 plus 3 pi divided by 3 units are the area of this whole shadow region. Okay. I hope you understood this question. This is our next question in figure A O A O B A is a part of ellipse 9 x square plus y square equal to 36 in the first quadrant such that O A equal to 2 and O B equal to 6. O A equal to 2 and O B equal to 6. Find the area between the arc A B arc A B and the code A B. So in this question we need to find out the uh, area of this portion. Okay, area between the arc AB and the code AB is this shaded region. Clear? So, let's start the solution of this question. Here, so here, uh, given that uh, first, equation, first equation of curve is ellipse, right? 9x square plus y square equal to 36. We know that ellipse equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Standard our general equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1, right? So, we need to change this uh, arches into 1. So, uh, we need to uh, dividing throughout uh, by 36. So, here we get 9x square by 36 plus y square by 36 equal to 36 by 36. So, the arches will become 1 and LHS is equal to x square by 4 plus y square by 36 equal to 1. Right. So, this is like our a standard uh, uh, equation of a uh, ellipse. So, next uh, given that uh, OA equal to 2 that means the point or coordinate of A is 2 comma 0 and OB equal to 6 that means the coordinate of B is uh, 0 comma 6. Okay. So, next we need to find out the area of this region and here also I am taking a a uh, vertical strip uh, with uh, uh, height as y and uh, length uh, as dx. Okay. And here uh, we need to find out the uh, uh, equation of this straight line AB or equation of code AB. And uh, we have already uh, studied in class 11 the equation of a straight line with uh, two point x1, y1 and x2, y2 is equal to uh, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1, right? So, here... Uh, these two points, uh, first point is 2 comma 0 and second point uh, here A and let us take, uh, name it as B. So, second point is 0 comma 6, right? So, here x1 is 2, y1 is 0, x2 is 0 and uh, y2 is 6. So, using these uh, values in this equation, we get our uh, equation of code AB. So, uh, replacing this whole y1, y2, x1, x2 by this value. Here we get y minus y1 is 0 equal to y2 value is 6. 6 minus y1 is 0 divided by x2 value is 0 and x1 value is 2 uh, into x minus x1 value is 2. So, here we get x equal to 6 by minus 2 into x minus 2. So, cancel this 2 and 6, it changes to 3, 
right so here we get y equal to minus 3 into x minus 2 or it can be written as minus 3x plus 6 or okay so the value of y is a function of x right so y equal to minus 3x plus 6 Next, considering this vertical strip, the area of area of this region, um, A B A, A B A is equal to integral A to B D A, and by using vertical strip, the D A is equal to y d x. Uh, next, I am going to find out this limit. If we taking a uh, vertical strip, the limit depends only in x-axis. So, considering these two points in x-axis O and A, the uh, coordinate of origin is zero zero, and coordinate of A is two comma zero, and it is very clear from uh, these two points the x-axis changes from zero to two, right? So, the limit is zero to two, and here. Y dx y is taken as the upper curve minus lower curve value because uh, the y is lies between two curves. So the value of y is equal to so y is equal to upper curve function of x minus lower curve function of x. So here upper curve is uh, our ellipse, right? So ellipse equation is x square by four plus y square by thirty six equal to one. So from this we need to change this uh, uh, function as a uh, y equal to function of x. So uh, taking this uh, uh, x square by four to r h s, it will become y square by thirty six equal to one minus x square by four. And on gross multiplication, we get four minus x square by four on uh, r h s. Y square divided by thirty six equal to four minus x square divided by four. From this, y square equal to taking this thirty six to numerator, so it will become thirty six by four into four minus x square. From this, y equal to root of thirty six by four into four minus x square. And we know that the square root of thirty uh, six is six, and the square root of two uh, four is two, right? And uh, right, remaining root uh, is a uh, root of four minus x square. Okay, from this we get uh, cancelling this. Uh, y is equal to three into root of four minus x square. Okay, so. Next, I am going to replace uh, this uh, upper curve. Upper curve by three into root of four minus x square. Three into root of four minus x square. Okay. Minus lower uh, lower curve. That means low in the figure lower curve is. Code, so we know that the straight line, uh, the equation of straight line is minus three x plus six, right? So replacing this uh, lower curve function by minus three x plus six here, and also write a dx. Okay, so don't forget to write uh, uh, this y is equal to upper curve minus lower curve. So this will be also equal to integral zero to two into three into root of four minus x square minus of minus three x. Opening this bracket will uh, the answer will be plus three x minus six dx. Okay. So next uh, I'm going to uh, apply. The integral, and we know that the standard integral of root of a square minus x square is 
x by 2 root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sine inverse x by a. So, using this formula, uh, I am going to expand this value. Here, 3 is a constant. So, writing uh, outside this bracket and integral of root of here. This uh, 4 can also be replaced by 2 square, right? So, this can be also uh, written as integral 0 to 2, 2 square, root of 2 square minus x square plus 3x minus 6 dx, okay? So, I am uh, using this formula, I am going to expand this integral root of 2 square minus x square as uh, x by 2 root of 2 square minus x square uh, plus here a, a is 2. So, replacing this a by 2, we get 2 square by 2 sine inverse x by 2. Uh, okay. Plus, next uh, we need to integrate uh, 3x. So, 3 is a constant. Integral x value is x square by 2, right? Minus 6 is a constant. Here, 1 is present. So, integral 1 value is x. So, this is our whole integral, uh, integral value of this step. And don't forget to write this uh, limit here. Okay. So, next I am going to apply the upper limit first. So, replacing whole x by 2, we get 3 into 2 by 2 root of 2 square minus 2 square replacing x by 2. So, it will become 2 square plus uh, 2 square by 2 into sine inverse 2 by 2 plus 3 into 2 square by 2 minus 6 into 2. So, these are the upper limit uh, value minus lower limit 3 into this term will become 0 because if we are replacing x by uh, 0, this uh, term will become 0. And here also sine inverse 0 is 0. So, 3 into 0 plus and here also 3 into 0 square uh, total term becomes 0 minus 6 into 0 also 0. Okay. So, this will be equal to 3 into 3 into this term will become 0 because 2 square minus 2 square is 0. 0 plus 2 square by 2. So, cancelling this 2, 1, one 2. Uh, so, here we get 2 into sine inverse 2 by 2 means cancelling this 2 by 2 will get 1. So, sine inverse 1 is pi by 2, right? Plus uh, 3 into also uh, cancel this 1, 2 in the numerator and denominator. So, it will become 6 here. So, uh, 3 into 2 here minus 6 into 2 is 12. Okay. And it is further equal to cancelling this 2, 2 and uh, multiplying this 3 to pi. So, it will become 3 pi plus 3 into 2, 6 uh, minus 12 equal to 3 pi, uh, 6 minus 12 is minus 6. So, 3 pi minus 6 is the uh, area of this shaded region. Okay. I hope you understood this question.